Welcome to my day in Sofia. Yes, it's only one day, but together we'll get the best out of it. Sofia, here we go. Guys, we are here in Sofia, Bulgaria. I we gotta say, we are now in front of, I don't know how it's called, Patisserie de Provence. It's a French name, but it's a typical Bulgarian modern type of bakery with a lot of traditional banitsas. And banitsas with pumpkin, sweet, sour, uh, cheese, uh, many other things. So let's go have a look, yeah? Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? <laughs> Papa, good. Okay. Two cheese. Two cheese. Two okay. cheese. Yeah. I just because she has a pretty smile, I'll take one of the spinach as well. Okay, give me one spinach. Three, just three. Two, two cheese and one spinach and cheese. Okay, she was faster than me. <laughs> what? What is this again? Boza. Oh, Boza. It's, it's Boza, yeah. So. This is uh, my brother uh, Atalas told me I'm gonna try Boza. Do I pronounce it right? Yes. How do you say Boza? Boza or Boza? Boza. <laughs> so guys, we got Boza over here and uh, we're gonna try this in a minute. Whenever you go to a country, try to be one of them. I'm trying. I don't look like them, but I'm trying. <laughs> it's time to pay. Okay, I got a cheese one. I got a cheese one for you and a cheese one for me. And we're gonna share the spinach one half half, okay? Let's do it. And um, this is the the boza. Yeah. Do, do I need to shake it before? No. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake. It. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you're smiling, but. <laughs> Oh, it's str oh. Oh, 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 It has a very strong dominant taste, but at the same time, it goes softly away. Boza it is, people. Boza it is. Mmm. Mmm. Welcome to Bulgaria. Ta-da! Guess who's back? It's a boy in the cash. So guys, I'm standing in front of this fancy, big, massive, huge, beautiful building which is called the Palace of Justice. This used to be a museum of history. They put the life of the Museum of History in a bigger location, a new location, and then they put the life of the Palace of Justice into this one. So justice is served over here. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Slavchuk? Atanasu. 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 Atanasu Slavchuk. <laughs> these guys are cleaning the streets of Sofia clear. Big up for these guys, yeah? Don't make a mess, tourists. Don't make a mess. <laughs> Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. <laughs> guys, can you see the two lions in the image? Yeah, I'm referring to that one and this one. 
So lions they fight for freedom, just like they said back in the days, green flag, lion on top of it, freedom or death. That's what we are gonna do for Kashmir, freedom or death. Bulgaria, we stand with you, bless. We're in the downtown Sofia in the center. Behind me, I have a very nice, beautiful statue of Saint Sophia. I hope you can see it. She is shining. Okay, so she is watching all over Sofia, all over downtown Sofia, so nothing happens wrong. After that, this place is also famous for her surroundings. Her surroundings are well, loads of beautiful stuff, but more, mainly, it's I would call it the rectangle of fate. Well, um, if you go to my my right. There's a cathe Orthodox Cathedral. The Orthodox Cathedral. You can see, very beautiful, very nice. Right behind me, a Catholic church. So we got two major religions represented already over here. A bit to my left in the corner, we have the biggest synagogue of Bulgaria. So we have already three major religions represented by watched by Saint Sophia and then the fourth major religion over here is the Islam the Muslims have their biggest mosque of Bulgaria to my left so you can see Shah, there it is the biggest mosque in Bulgaria so this place is really famous for uh, the unity the peace the harmonious uh, together living style of these four major religions At this moment, I'm standing in front of the remains of the ancient city of Serdica. Serdica basically was a city built by the Thracians. Yes, you heard it right. Originally by the Thracians. And then everything changed. Constantine the Great, he arrived. Boom, bala, boom, bala, boom. He loved it because of the architecture, the people maybe, and especially because of the beautiful mountain, which you can't see at the moment because the weather is not helping us. It's, it's somewhere behind the clouds, but we'll try and make sure to add something so you can see. I mean, so your eyes can benefit of the beauty of that mountain, you know. And right somewhere to my, in front of me, is, there are the hot springs. So between the hot springs and between the mountain, this is the beautiful city of Serdica. After that moment, the moment he, he saw this beauty of this Thracian built city Serdica, he spent more time of his life in here than in Rome and he used to say Serdica is my Rome oh. 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 the power Papa I just say People are looking at me like a crazy lunatic, but hey, let's tell them I am a crazy lunatic. We are calm, baby. Oyster bomb. It's very expensive. Radioactive. Nobody can touch it. But me. I wouldn't say Allah Akbar over here. <laughs> well. Guys. I just like I told you before we are here, we were just standing in front of the ancient Thracian city of, of uh, Serdica, which Constantine the Great liked about this place and he was talk I was talking about the hot springs. So we are here now and uh, these hot springs lead to 
the ex bath of uh, Sofia. I'm going to take you back in a little moment. Uh, we have lots of tourists walking uh, next to me, so I'm not the only tourist over here. So, hey, meet my tourist friends, you know? So, the locals come here to get the water all the time because they say it has a cure, it has a power in it to cure things. So, you can see a lot of people. Now, I have pain in my knee and my back sometimes. So, let's go try the cure out. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yes guys, once again here in Sofia, in front of the National Sofia Museum or maybe it's not the National, it's just a museum about Sofia but because but 50 years ago, until 50 years ago it was a bath people came here to take a bath and get refreshed something similar to a Turkish steam bath because in that time not everybody had hot water because of the hot springs just laying next to it, the water was hot so one day the people used to pick a day out in the week, mostly weekends, and they used to come and relax. Of course it's separated. So ladies at one side and men at one side. And 50 years ago, civilization killed the bath. So it's a museum now. I would have loved to take a bath, but not gonna happen for me though. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm filming. Papa, why you don't give me 10 centimeters to me, man? I got my own 10 centimeters. Just send 10 centimeters, I'm enough. Where you go? Italy, Italy. You? Kashmir, or the Brussels. Oh, Kashmir. Come on, come on. 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 Guys, now we're here in a restaurant called uh, Fabio, Pizzeria Fabio. And uh, it's time to fill up the tummy once again because all that walking makes you hungry. So this is Gilvech. I hope I'm saying it correctly, Gilvech. There is a uh, courgette, carrots, potatoes, pigeon peas, uh, some bay leaves, I think, and uh, okra, uh, bamya, pindi. We call it pindi. This looks that smells delicious. And of course, we will add some salad to it. You can see feta cheese. You just stay healthy, you know, stay healthy, stay healthy. Be like me. So many nice things, so many beautiful things in this authentic antiquity market next to the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Oh, there it is. A miniature. You can see. I'll show it to you later, we're not far away, just next to it. So you know you open one, get another one, then another one. But this one This one, people, is not just an ordinary Matuska. This one is new. Pagadi Matuska. It's not just because it is a wolf, it is a bunny that is beautiful. This, my people, is a Russian answer to the American capitalist Mickey Mouse. New Pagadi. 
and now this is probably one of the most famous export products and mostly used in the local household Bulgaria is also famous for this their famous rose oil which they are rose soap they have as well rose hand cream rose perfume and of course I'm gonna buy some gifts for some ladies <laughs> my mom firstly <laughs> So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed Come on, come on Yugoslavia Thought I needed Get it? So I thought I needed It's Greek This is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. This famous building has survived all the difficult times and the communist times in all its glory and is standing right. Now, actually, I'm standing in front of it. This is the heart of the people of Sofia for many reasons. One is, this is actually geologically it's right in the center of Sofia. Every, everything is around, surrounding it. And it's also in the heart of the people. You can see me shining together with the cathedral of course but did you know that wherever you are in the city in every corner and every place when the weather is clear of course you can see this cathedral shining really shining let me tell you why first of all the green roofing is copper secondly these roofs this kube they call it kube roofing is gold and gold that is real gold and people say I don't know if it's true, it will probably. They say 100 kilos of gold are being used for just one kube, one roof. So that's a lot. And also it gives the people um, a feeling of homecoming. Like whenever you are walking somewhere, you go to the left and you see that shiny cathedral, you say, yeah, I'm home. I belong here. And at this moment, I'm home. I belong here. Come and see us out. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Very beautiful, very astonishing. Probably the most pictured building of Sofia. I would not be wrong if I said the most pictured picture of Bulgaria. Did you know pre-communism time this was the home of the Tsar of Bulgaria and the Patriarch. But now it is a republic state, republic country, so it's just the home of the Patriarch. This is a famous Saint Sophia church. Uh, only, only 50 meters away from the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Very popular, yes, very popular amongst the young Sophians to get married over here. This has, this is actually a working church, but in the dungeons you have tombs of the Roman times. Tada! This is a place very important for the Christian world. Back in the times, in the past, Christians from all over the world used to gather here and discuss important things. Long before the Christian world was divided in two, the Orthodox and the Catholics. And as you can see, it, is, it has a different structure than the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, by example. Bricks, Byzantine style, very Structurized as ancient. Beautiful. Just in front of the Saint Sophia Church, there is this monument dedicated to the heroes that died for the fatherland Bulgaria. With this never ending fire, the never ending hope. Bulgaria, freedom or death.